All right, class, let's now continue on with our project. This time, we are going to install Bootstrap into this as our CSS framework. And later on, we are going to set up the layout of our application. So by way of a layout, we'll be able to have a, some parts of our application to be always there, to be persistent, and only the pages or parts of the application will be reloaded and uh, therefore save us a lot of uh, uh, data transfer every time we switch pages and also we'll have some consistent look in our application which is what uh, usually is the case for majority most of the web applications these days so first up let's uh, create i mean install bootstrap into this so we can get that well in this case we'll just uh, use the CDN to grab a copy of Bootstrap on the fly and it's available right here in the download and just below it we have the CDN via just deliver we'll just click this to copy to the clipboard and all we have to do is put this into our app.blade.php file under resources views and this guy here and we'll probably just paste this right above the v directive like so and now we save this one and let's see if this is uh running our server no no not yet so let's run our development server also we also need to run the beat so that it keeps on updating our changes onto the application all right so server is running beat is running let's try to see the output uh, as what we have right now it was just a page with a with a home and a number counter with a with a minus and plus button to increase or decrease the number now we already copied the this one in, and pasted it already into this uh, root page so hopefully this is now going to work and you can see it's still loading so anyway in order for us to have a layout again we'll be doing much of our work on the JS folder and uh, maybe right beside the pages we'll create a new folder for uh, anything that is shared like the layout can be shared and probably some other components that will be shared by other pages we'll put it here on the shared folder and from here we are going to create a new component and we'll just call this component layout dot view okay and since this is again a view component we'll have uh we'll start of course with uh template Let's see yeah we already have our application running here and notice that it's now changed its uh, font and this is the indication that bootstrap is indeed being pulled over and used here so going back to our layout we'll just create a template here and maybe a script as well IntelliSense is not really running right now maybe because uh, my PC is not working right and slow that's why 
some processes of our of my VS Code is not uh, running completely. Okay, so for our layout, maybe we'll just put on a nav bar here. So let me go back to Bootstrap and grab the nav bar from the components here, just like I always do. And go down below. Yeah, I think it's this one. And paste it right down here. Okay. So we'll have this uh, my recipe, my recipes. And right now we have three or four links. Uh, I'll just leave it there. Let's see how it's going to look like. Oh, yeah, of course, it's not going to change yet because we are not applying the layout to our pages as of yet. So now, now that we have our layout, we have to identify where the pages will appear. So if you remember in Blade, there was a yield directive that's going to define or identify where to put things. So in this same sense, since this is uh, Vue.js, we're only going to use the slot uh, tag. So wherever the slot is, that's where the, the child component is going to appear, which in this case, our child component is going to be the pages. And in order for the pages to use layout as, to extend layout as its layout, all we have to do is import that layout component into our component here and define this, it as our layout. So here, we're going to import layout Oops. from, and remember, we are our um, so working directory is right here on the pages and we need to jump outside and then inside of of shared so we say dot dot slash to go one uh, level above and then go shared okay and instead of shared that's where we find layout dot view that's where we can import the layout now let's just define it in another script tag here with the uh, script tag without the setup the options api script tag okay and here is a export default and define our layout to be layout okay and save it i don't know why it's uh yeah, it's just a delayed reaction again of our of my PC being so slow. Anyway, now that we have that, notice now that we have our uh, navigation bar here as evidence that we are now using our uh, layout. And if we are going to add something to our layout, for example, if we put as a, a footer just below here, and have a footer below the slot remember the slot is where our pages component is going to appear so below we'll have a footer and let's just give, give this a class of text oops text center and Maybe we'll just add a margin top of, uh, well, five, maybe. And you see now we have also our footer appearing 
right here. But of course, our links um, should be different. Also, we'd like to have this page inside. Uh, okay, let me do some little bit of changes here. Uh, maybe in the app blade here, we can have the body. We can style the body right here into having a background color of something gray. Maybe. Uh, All right, and and then our pages will be placed in the center, a little bit in the center. So instead of our layout, we just put this slot inside of a div file, maybe, or a section, perhaps. like so and instead of the section we're going to give it a class of container and background of white see okay looking good so far and i think we should be placing the footer um, yeah so why is the uh, text in the footer not in the center? It's, I already have a text center here. Supposedly this should go to the center. I don't know what happened. Anyway, um, next is just give uh, padding to our page, our section. Say P, maybe 3. Let's take a look at that. Oops. Um, oh. Okay. Uh, let's increase that to four and maybe have some rounding. Rounded. Um, small. And we'll also give a margin top of four. The rounded doesn't work. I wonder how to make things rounded in Bootstrap. <laughs> Just don't remember everything, you know, and uh, always take a look at uh, references. Yeah, it's only rounded 0 to rounded 5. It's not SM. So I'll just try 3. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Looks good. Besides this annoying thing, it's just not positioning itself on the center. Maybe I should give this a width of... 100 or yeah I think I'll just margin of auto still nothing Yeah, it's no wonder nothing's working for this thing. It's because I will lack one S on the class. <laughs> so I think we should remove these guys here. And yeah. 
and still it works okay so that's how you can install bootstrap into our project and apply layout later we'll add okay oh, well right now let's add another page okay have a new file here we'll have a page for our recipes okay again this is a view component so we'll have a template and script setup for now let's just give it an h1 my recipes and of course we need to update our routes Since we'll be having a lot of um, endpoints for relating to recipes, we'll, we'll have to create a controller for, for this. So let me open up the terminal and add a new terminal here. And we'll create a controller for recipes. Okay. PHP artisan make controller recipe controller already exist so <laughs> let's see recipe controller and we'll just create a page here index So for now, we'll just uh, return inertia for recipe, like so. And we'll just add a route now. For recipe, and we'll call out the controller. and the function so now if we try to go to slash recipe yeah we have my recipes and again we lost our layout because uh, we did not register the layout for the recipe page let's do that going back here create a new script tag for options API and layout layout which we also need to import So there you go. Our layout is restored. This is recipes. And this is our home page. There you go. And this is still works. Okay. So for our next video, we are going to fix the the links here and we'll also apply some uh, something like this, uh, act making uh, a link active when that page is being loaded. And then the rest will be a little bit different. So we'll implement that in our next video.